Welcome to the Fimble Maker and Innovation Lab. Today, we will be taking a tour of the wood and metal shop. The wood and metal shop is to the left of the general workshop. The wood and metal shop is our most secure area of the Fimble Maker and Innovation Lab. Those that would like to get started in the space must have someone with them, appropriate dress wear such as closed toed shoes, no loose clothing or jewelry, and must be wearing safety attire like eye protection, have long hair tied back, and hearing protection when stationary or other loud equipment is turned on. Safety glasses and hair ties can be found on the left before you enter the space. And upon entering the space on the left is hearing protection along with face masks. This space can be intimidating to new users, but there are many ways one can get started in using the space. We encourage new users to get started off with simple projects or attend one of our workshops. Our Bloxbox workshop, for instance, is a great way for users to get started working in the space and get familiar with common hand tools, saws, and drills. At the end of the workshop, participants get to leave with their very own handmade block spot. As participants become familiar with basic hand tools and would like to learn additional equipment, they can request one-on-one -on -one or small group training on individual pieces of equipment. These trainings can be applied towards their ability badge, which is our system of keeping track who has been safety trained on what equipment. Getting your ability badge stamped on different pieces of equipment allows you to use those pieces of equipment more independently. There is no fee to sign up for an ability badge. To get your own, head to our website and sign our values and waivers and then fill out the ability badge form. Continuing to walk into the wood and metal shop, on the left is a black cabinet which houses a number of power tools, ranging from cordless drills, jigsaws, and palm sanders. Participants will often get started using the scroll saw, which is located next to the hand tools, for basic woodworking projects. Then, when they feel more comfortable, they can move on to additional stationary tools like the chop saw, sanders, and the more advanced tools like the bandsaw located in the front middle of the shop, and the wood lathe used for wood turning projects. It is important to remember when working in the space that all pieces of equipment are safe when operated and used properly. If you are ever unsure, ask. The professional and student staff are here to help you. Continuing into the center of the workshop, we have our planer and joiner. Planer and joiners are great mill working pieces of equipment that help take raw logs and trim them down into lumber. Next we have our saw stop table saw. This is the safest table saw on the market. If the blade comes into contact with material that is conductive or not wood or plastic based, the table saw is designed to drop its blade down below the table. Each of our stationary equipment is connected to our dust collection system. This is a large piece of machinery located outside of the Fimble Lab. The dust collection system collects the sawdust and stores it into a barrel. Clean sawdust is then repurposed. In the back right corner, we have our spray booth. This is where participants can spray paint or mix glue safely. Against the wall on the right are our high-tech pieces of equipment. Here is our shop-bought CNC machine, which stands for Computer Numeric Control. This is basically a computer-driven robot with a drill that is able to cut wood into shapes based on files it is given. Another CNC machine we have is our Tormox CNC. This piece of equipment is able to cut and shape metal. The last piece of equipment is our water jet. The water jet can cut a variety of materials from acrylic plastic, glass, stone, metals, and more. The water jet uses a fine garnet, which travels through the water at high speeds. This creates an abrasive process, which allows us to cut through almost anything, including up to a half inch of steel. In the corner by the window is where we house most of our metal working equipment. Here we have our metal horizontal bandsaw and some grinders. The space is also equipped with a MIG welder and TIG and ARC welder. We have a vent for welding hanging from the ceiling, and blue retractable welding curtains which can be pulled in when welding and stored away if not. We also have a traditional metal milling machine which is used to shape metal as well as a metal lathe. That concludes the woodworking and metalworking shop virtual tour. We encourage new users to start small and build up on your skills. For more tours check out our website and we hope to see you in the space very soon.